Have you ever felt extremely ill after having an orgasm? And it might last for days. I'm Dr. Rena Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon, and today we're gonna talk all about this extremely rare condition, or maybe underreported condition, post-orgasmic illness syndrome. If you're new here, I make content every Monday and Friday on urologic health, including things like bladder health, sexual health, and so much more. If you like what you see, please make sure to subscribe and share this channel with your friends. Post-orgasmic illness syndrome is something that we see very infrequently. It's essentially a syndrome where in more commonly men than women, but both genders become immediately ill after ejaculation. And these symptoms last from anywhere from two to five days after orgasm. There's probably been only about 50 cases of this reported in the literature. Given the advent of the internet and Reddit forums and social media, we've seen more people discussing this, which leads us to believe that probably it's more common than we really know. And as you can imagine, this can be extremely distressing to both the person who's experiencing it, their partner, and their quality of life. Often people who suffer from this will try to avoid having intercourse or masturbation. And this obviously has a tremendous impact on their desire to have a partner because they don't want to let their partner down. And this can lead to significant amounts of depression, anxiety, and lots of mental health issues. So in order to be defined as having post-orgasmic illness syndrome, there are five technical criterion that researchers have decided are important to define post-orgasmic illness syndrome from just general fatigue or other symptoms that you might feel immediately after having an orgasm. The first is that you have to have symptoms and the symptoms are flu-like symptoms, extreme fatigue, can be feeling irritable, have mood disturbances, memory difficulties, issues with concentration, even things like nose congestion or watery or itchy eyes. These symptoms have to occur immediately after ejaculation, either with a partner during masturbation or in sleep, presumably when someone has a nocturnal ejaculation. If you want to learn more about that, check out my video on why this happens and why it's completely normal. Number three is that these symptoms occur almost every time you ejaculate. So more than 90% of the time you can count on having some semblance of these symptoms. The fourth criteria is these symptoms have to last somewhere between two to seven days after having ejaculation. And criteria number five is generally that these symptoms disappear spontaneously. It's also defined in two different ways. It can be either primary, which is the first time the person ejaculated or had intercourse, or it could be secondary, meaning that it happened later in life, but then it became a very consistent finding that occurred every time after ejaculation. Also, the symptoms are very different from person to person, and they can form in different types of clusters. So the first type of cluster is like a general cluster, feeling fatigue, feeling irritable, feeling mood disturbances, sometimes even difficulty finding words or having incoherent speech. The second cluster is a flu-like cluster, which is basically having flu-like symptoms. The third cluster is a head cluster. So having symptoms like a headache, a foggy feeling in the head, or kind of a heaviness. The fourth cluster is the eye cluster. And this can be symptoms of having blurry eyes, red, itchy, painful, and even watery eyes. Cluster five is the nose cluster. So congestion, sneezing. Cluster six is the throat cluster. And this can be symptoms of having obviously sore throat, discomfort, having a hoarse feeling in your throat, and even having a dirty taste in the mouth. And cluster seven is the muscle cluster. And this can be muscle tension, pain, weakness, heaviness in the legs. So patients who have POIS can have any cluster of symptoms. So one person who has it can be very different from another person because they may have symptoms in very different clusters. So why does it happen? Well, there's a few different theories as to why it happens. The first is that it's an autoimmune condition, meaning that your body's reacting in some sort of allergic way or autoimmune way to your own semen. They actually did a study on 33 men. They diluted the semen in one to 40,000 concentration, meaning it was very, very dilute, and injected it under the skin prick of people who had symptoms of POIS. And what they found was that 88% of people did react to that skin 
injection as if they were having an allergic reaction. However, later this study was uh, repeated in patients who didn't have POIS and they found that still even people who didn't have those symptoms still had reactions. So are we 100% sure that's the reason? Maybe, maybe not. Another theory is that it's a problem with the opioid receptors because when you have an orgasm, you essentially load up the opioid receptors just like you're giving an opioid medication. And then once you are finished with the orgasm, essentially you go through a withdrawal. Because this has been very infrequently reported, there's no great treatment pathway for these patients, but many different things have been tried. These can include antidepressants like selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, as well as benzodiazepines for anxiety and antihistamines. One study actually gave patients alpha blocker psilocybin, as I mentioned in my videos about side effects to medications like tamsulosin or alpha blockers, one of them is an ejaculation or retrograde ejaculation. And so psilocybin, in fact, has the highest rate of this in upwards of 20% of people. So giving this medication, in fact, did cure about half of the patients in one small study. Another case study of one patient found that the patient had very low testosterone levels and they gave them human chorionic gon gonadotropin injections to help boost the testosterone. They gave this essentially to preserve fertility, but presumably you could do this with testosterone medications, either uh, topical or injections as well. Bottom line, if you're suffering from any of these symptoms, please don't be embarrassed to talk about it. Come talk to your doctor and get some help because there may be some options that can give you a significantly improved quality of life so you can get back to having really great relationships with your partner and enjoying sex the way it was meant to be. As always, remember to take care of yourself because you're worth it.